Hey guys, it's me Greg from Playtech. Today we're gonna to look at resetting your BIOS. Your BIOS is essentially the firmware settings of your actual motherboard and are some very low level settings that can affect essentially the whole way your PC works. So you can imagine that when something's wrong in your BIOS, then it can lead to all kinds of crazy problems down the track. Luckily, it's really easy to reset your BIOS to its factory settings so that if you ever have any trouble, you can sort of go back to zero and work forward from there and hopefully that'll resolve your issues. Bad BIOS settings can prevent your computer from booting, it can mess with your RAM, it can do all kinds of things. So if you're having those kind of issues, keep watching and we'll run you through some of the ways to sort that out. The easiest way to get into BIOS is to press the delete key when your computer is booting up. Sometimes you'll need to like tap it a few times to get there, but once you get in, you'll be rewarded with your PC's UEFI BIOS screen. Now it's important to note that sometimes modern PCs boot up really, really fast and they're actually too fast to hit the delete button in time to get into BIOS. If you're having that problem, you can actually go through some Windows settings to make it reboot and load into BIOS automatically. Just go into settings, click updates and security, then click recovery and select restart now under advanced startup. In the advanced startup menu, select troubleshoot then select Advanced Options, and then UEFI Firmware Settings, and click Restart. Once you're in your BIOS, you want to navigate to the Exit menu, then select Restore Defaults, then Save Changes, and Reset. Now the third method we're going to look at today is actually a hardware method. So this is great if your PC is like refusing to boot or doing something weird, making a funny beep or showing a little funny LED on the motherboard. Often people will find themselves needing to do this after like say a power surge or a power outage has shut their computer down and then it's having trouble booting back up. Begin by disconnecting the power from your PC, then locate the CMOS battery on your motherboard and pop it out. Hold the power button on your PC for about 20 seconds. This will drain any stored charge in the capacitors of the motherboard. Now reinstall the battery and reconnect your PC's power. Your BIOS settings should now be reset to default. Hopefully that's helped you resolve your issue or at least helped you identify where the issue lies. Either way, now's a great time to reach out to us and we'll help you take it the rest of the way. Thanks for watching. I'm Greg from Playtech.